What is up, random person on the internet? RTG here, back with some more humor. We are in short order going to make landfall. Is well, it's new to us because Solomon has been here a while. He has three outposts. Uh, <clears throat> I've seen that this territory so far has a lot to offer three well, two unknown strategics up here two over here a natural wonder a bunch of luxuries and if we can move fast enough infinite opportunity we are still in the war with oh, sorry Gilgamesh is making all that progress we are still in the war with Solomon he has this unit here but it is in a demilitarized zone for the next two turns. So we could leave it here for a turn or two and get a bit of leverage against him. Which I think I'm going to do. And then just run him shortly after. In terms of war score or war support, we are losing more than him per turn, but we are slightly ahead. We are decently ahead in terms of error stars we could get what we could get a, an additional error star if we were to attach any random territory or defeat four more units both possible i don't know which is more likely uh, able to do this but we just lack influence I don't want to invest in it. As useful as it might be, I want as much influence as we can for settling. So, both of these guys are ready. Archer is in one turn. You guys skip. Here, go onto the stone field, and we find some decent place in this settle. Maybe here along the river. It was not love or hate at first sight. Let's see how second sight goes. He stayed in, in the military zone, so we got we got a leverage per unit. But if he's gonna move that, now we can actually push forward. Triumphs is more than likely going to retreat. Alright. As long as we can scare him off. He's still in the zone, so that should that should be another another boost of war support next turn. Let's go. These guys, as of next turn, are going to move it up with this guy. Uh, Laventa and Mohenjo Daro are working on the flood irrigation. That is going to give them a decent amount of food. Not as much as San Lorenzo. Matter of fact, shouldn't San Lorenzo... Okay, San Lorenzo did... Yeah, it got a pop and lost a pop last turn. I... Yeah. Making so much food, I can push that over to production. Maybe put a bit of production in. See. You may look at this and say, Oh, RTG, you can't... Okay, I can't I can't attack this turn. But we aren't going for this push. Learned our lesson last time. After these guys after these next set are built. I'll send some units north slowly.
demilitarize. I don't know if he was going to push an attack. Did get the leverage, so we can placate two more times. Friend, you look well. Was some crisis that settled. So we want this territory because, well, we want these three at least because strategic, which is oil, since it's in the water, and fairly certain oil is the only strategic resource that spawns in water. This for two more strategics. This for decent mountain range. Some more. This way. Can we? Should we? I know we can. The question is, should we attack? You know what? No. It's going to continue holding ground. Uh... Harappa's population is growing, which implies to me they haven't built much in the way of forcing troops. Archer is done. San Lorenzo should be growing decently quick. Too expensive to get to get an additional territory on. Should get. Oh. What is. I think that gives you. Okay. Library. On science. That could be. Have your copper. Imp could get another paper mill. Paper mill is giving us Okay. Right now we are getting one science per researched technology. I don't know if it is researched. I don't know if his technology is researched after or it is uh I don't know if it's one science per research technology after this was built or but if we build more get 10, 10, lev 10 science per paper and that is per paper we have over one but I think getting an animal ban and a granary up for San Lorenzo who dare is good a colossus rears its head both figuratively and literally, another empire has built the Colossus of Rhodes. Somebody built the Colossus. Should be trying to get. Four and fourteen. That is the. That's the best thing we are seeing. I'm already angry. We are just slowly accumulating um, leverage against them. Over there, let's go. Get up here. I doubt he'll uh, try attack, but he is foolish enough to potentially try. And Jadaro don't have the ability to build four. Oh yeah, we do have the ability. So a fort here. All right. Keep these guys defensible. Yes, sir. You. Oh, 
how is this not valid? Paper mill doesn't require action. Oh, must be placed next to our river. That can kind of things difficult and work on. Granary. Looking for possible attack angle. That seems like the best angle. Ask him to retreat. I think now. You. What is it? Now. Be a good time to strike. Here, get yeah, those guys in the back as. Reinforcements, we have this new set here. Hey, a simulation looks like we need nothing. But can't always trust simulate. Some melee is here. Javelins. We can archer high ground because we have indirect fire and sitting here should be easy. I'll sacrifice, you know, leave you here and deployment. Have a flank from high ground. Archer has sight. I'll move the archer here. Just in the okay. These guys Oh they have a range of two. Don't know why I always thought they were three. I that did not take them. Can get rid of you. Puts us in a slightly vulnerable position. But yeah, should be fine with just one attack. We'll line them up bank.
Battle won, military star earned, we lost less HP than the battle would have predicted. And he's gonna start losing a decent amount of combat strength. This is some pillaging going on. Can't tell. Might just be looting him. Okay, but with that fight done. Should have significantly smaller army. Who's like that? Fire. I'm already angry. Do not drive me to violence. All things remaining equal, we win this war in nine turns. Yes, sir. Settled here. Here we need horsemen. So that they can do a lot of the Off we go. so they can do a lot of the footwork the flooded lands an unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of chanang and the surrounding land. if the rain does not stop soon the banks of the great river that thread through the city will burst flooding the adjacent quarters with limited time and resources those choices are stark we Again, seem to be continue on this continuing trend of using the second option. This doesn't affect our access. There's a chance of bad consequences. We had the goal to do better, but let us see. Okay, so these guys working up here. I think I'd like for you guys to head that way. You guys can burn this down and we settle over here. It's two more luxury helpers. You guys heal. Venta finally finished. I know there was talk of a Olmec head here, and I messed that up being too quickly. Venta finally get this iron, this iron hooked up. And you know what? This is a good place for a paper. Okay, Gilgamesh already turned this into a city. You, I'd like for you to quickly build us a demilitarized ends in a few turns. We now have our unique, it's which is a archer upgrade. to be in friendly territory these guys have 28 combat strength as opposed to archers 18 but they have repeating repeating crossbow volley stronger attacks after the unit spend around defending so it's i don't know how strong of a difference it is because if it's only like double damage then one might argue attack twice not like attacks missing this game this other territory been explored I 
five five and ten I think five and ten. The peeling off, what we're gonna get. Building out more units. Should be able to hold off with one. You stay stationed. Because if they attack, we have these guys nearby. Uh, do we? You know what I think I'll hold off your settling. I want you to just conquest makes attaching cheaper. We could well we could push through conquest into siege tactic. Or we could get fortification. Just so, in the off chance, Solomon will reach our, our city. Fine. He has his full, his full army up. He's heading north after our forts. I do see he has the Colossus up here. Good for us, because that means we. That is built. That means we get a wonder. I did. I move fast. I didn't see how much that costed us. You have come to annoy me. Challenge accepted. Loss of administrative center. Thing is, we are going to hold off on the war at least a handful. It's 800 to take this. But in the meantime, you go explore. That might be more valuable than having you. Wait. In Plaza, quarters. Stoneworks, an additional 20 industry. Did, did we put. What did you just build? Oh, right, the food stuff. After the stoneworks, our next paper. Did we get. Okay, we just got a bronze mill. We aren't. We are barely halfway. Sir. What does the Colossus do, remind? All of these are Celts they didn't get anything. So extra militia spawn cities on siege. That's bad. But Oh, also they get extra combat strength on militia. Also bad. They don't lose militia during sieges, also bad. Plus fifteen plus fifteen industry armor. It's going to be it's in the future. In turn built an additional unit. Okay. We could upgrade you. You guys have don't have indirect. I have three. See this time. Honestly, this looks pretty good attack. That's what I expected. I'm already angry. Do not drive me to vice. 
I expected to push him off. That would not be a good attack for him. Or would this necessarily? The only annoying thing is all the all the forests are low ground. Oh, this maker's quarters does count as forests. Can hold on. Skip your turn. To get somewhere safe. Move you this way. And there isn't doesn't seem to be much left in that direction. Your people see it as a place of safety and a symbol of power. Only your friends know of the extensive wine cellar. Have four naval. I don't I can grab that safely. Do you go up? We'll see. Those guys are a bit too fat to push. Uh, this also looks like a decent offensive position for us. You have come to annoy me? Challenge accepted. War can be ended next turn. Have gotten to the point where don't necessarily. Okay, he is down to what two territories? Down to two territories. He's spending all his time building units. To go attack us. Two turns till we get this, which is the key thing we want. It is just movement speed. Okay, let's see. He has two aerostats, which New era, which leads me to believe does not have citizen. So these do look like some sort of fortified. Uh, these kind of do look like stone wall. He may, may actually have citizens. And there are no forests. Our javelin throats to get advantage from. Don't fall behind. Is this too? Okay, so he. Oh, it's three. This is a tiny little territory. But we will, next time, try to take her apple by the look of it. But with that, I've been RTG, you have been you. Peace, love, tranquility to all of you, and I will see you next time.